In this video, I'd like to talk about the Sierpinski carpet, which is named after the same Polish mathematician that the Sierpinski triangle is named after. And this fractal is created from a square where that square is divided into nine equally sized smaller squares. And then the middle of those squares is then removed. And that would be the first step. The second step is to take each of the remaining squares and repeat that process, split it into nine equally sized squares and then remove the middle one. And that process is carried out infinitely many times. And this picture is the result of that process carrying out to infinity. Now, the fractal dimension, which we can call D of this shape, let me use a brighter color, is approximately 1.8128, where remember that the dimension of a line is dimension one, the dimension of a square is dimension two, the dimension of a cube is dimension three, and so on. So this Sierpinski carpet is close to the dimension of a square but not exactly. And you can imagine it's because we're always removing one small portion of the overall square. In fact, we will have eight ninths of the entire shape remaining after each step is carried out. And one of the most remarkable properties of this Sierpinski carpet, after this process is carried out infinitely many times of splitting the square up into nine smaller squares and then removing the middle one is that the area of this figure is actually equal to zero. And we'll look at that in a later video, but for now let's get a better idea of how this shape is constructed. And we're starting with a square. You can see this is really step one where the middle square is removed, but you can imagine just starting with a black square and then the square is divided into nine smaller squares. And once you have these nine squares, then that middle square is removed, which is shown in this first picture here, where the removed square is colored in white. Now, after step one, then we go to step two. And let's just focus on one of these remaining eight squares. We're going to take that square and further divide it. We will split it again into nine equally sized smaller squares and the middle of those squares will then be removed. And that process will happen for each of these other seven squares. And you can imagine that each of these eight squares will now have eight smaller squares since it was cut up into nine and the middle one was removed. And so at this point, we would have 64 of these tiny squares and then each of the tiny squares will have the same process applied. It will be split into nine smaller squares and then that middle square will then be removed. And you'll see that right here, this is the third step and that process will carry infinitely many times where you can see the fourth step right here. And like I mentioned, after you carry this process out infinitely many times, the area of this Sierpinski carpet, the amount of space that it actually takes up is equal to zero. And in the next couple of videos, we'll look at both finding the area of the shape and calculating the fractal dimension.